happy Monday, everyone. I hope you are all managing to stay warm on this wintry February day. Today, I want to talk to you about the power of a good critique. You must understand that all painters require someone to critique their work, no matter how good you are or how many years you've been painting, you are never good enough to not require a critique. The trouble is finding someone who can give you an honest and proper critique because having a good critique is much different than having someone criticize your work. There is a dramatic difference between the two. A critique will offer you suggestions and advice on something that doesn't quite look right in your painting. It will offer you suggestions on trees, whether there's too many, too few, your composition, whether it's something is a little off in one section. You don't have to be an artist in order to give a critique. Uh, my mom was one of my best critiques and I really miss her eye because she was able to come in and say, hey, to, you know what you've done doesn't look quite right over here. Sometimes my brother has offered me the same thing, saying something's just a little off in this tree or it doesn't have to necessarily be critique in the normal sense as far as an artist could say, Criticism, on the other hand, is somebody saying that painting looks terrible or this is bad or how could you do such a bad thing? Yeah, those kind of things are not helpful. You need to be able to be, to, you need to be able to fix the problem. It needs to be constructive criticism, I guess, it would be a way you could also term it. It's very, very helpful to have somebody else's fresh eyes to view the painting because we are very close to it. We are very attached to it. We put our heart and soul into that painting and it is hard to be distance ourselves from the, the work itself. And you just don't always see what's right in front of you. It's really hard sometimes to see the obvious when you've been working face to face with it close up for such a long time. As an example, my one mentor, Keith, did a commission painting for a client, finished it, it looked great. He packaged it, shipped it out. And then after the fact, he would, another artist was looking at the photo of the commission and the, the other artist happened to notice that um, Keith's deer only had three hooves. The one, the painting was done, signed, sealed, and delivered, and it uh, was missing a foot, that poor deer. It was an amputee deer. So you know what? We can't always be the best judge of our work. As I said, my mom was amazing, and she was so helpful, and she was a big part of many of my paintings, and I do miss her eyes because she was able to pick up on things that I just couldn't see in my own work. And there was an example of a painting that I did. It was also a commission piece and it was of Fisherman's Lake and a beautiful sunset uh, reflected in the lake. I loved it. It was, I was very excited to do this painting. And every day at the end of the day, my mom would come in and say, I don't know, you just don't quite have it yet. There's something still missing. And then it was my job to figure out what exactly was missing. It took me weeks and weeks and weeks and finally I clued in I got the colors right the light finally was right and the reason I struggled was because Fisherman's Lake is in the Yukon way up north which is some place that I've never been it was a commission for some clients who used to live there and it's it's part of that bit about how you have to know your subject matter and I've never been to the Yukon and it took me quite a struggle to get the light correct. And without my mom's input, I would have never been able to, to succeed in that painting. It, I needed her extra set of eyes. And it is invaluable that all artists have somebody 
who can look at their paintings with a rational mind, not emotional. So keep that in mind as you're working and be open to suggestions. You will never get to a point where you don't need to have helpful suggestions. You have to find somebody you trust. That is super important because you, it, it is a private thing being able to paint and you're putting your heart and soul into it and people have to do it with a uh, compassionate view. You have to be kind. It cannot be criticism. Criticism will only make you want to give up and I do not want any of you to give up. You really need to be careful also. I know there were, were certainly moments when my mom would come in to my studio at the end of a long paint day and she would then start making suggestions and there were moments when I was certainly not open to those suggestions. There is a timing part of it and you know my mom and I very rarely argued but there were times when she would come in and I was not in the mood to hear how my whole day's work was not not quite right. So um, it has to be done with kindness and compassion. So if you're going to critique another artist's paintings, just be kind. Do so cautiously and nicely and make sure you are working with uh, suggestions that can be addressed properly. And the other thing that is very important with getting a critique is that you don't always have to necessarily do what is suggested. There have been times, even when my mom, who I very, very much trusted with her advice on my paintings, there were times when I looked at my work and said, no, you know what, that does not feel right to me. I'm not gonna proceed with that suggestion. Just because somebody offers you uh, a bit of advice, it does not mean you need to do that. Even with my own students, I say that. I said, this is a maybe, but you could think about doing this in your painting. It's a maybe. Other times I say, yeah, you've got to change the tree, but even them, they do not have to take my advice. But um, the point is in making your painting as good as it possibly can be, that is the whole point. And if somebody can offer you a suggestion on a color or a, a, a proper light or value or composition, whatever it may be, if you can make your painting better, do it. You want to shine your brightest. That's the whole point of doing this art. That's why we're doing this. This is why we want to share ourselves with the world. So don't think you have to take all the critiques that everybody gives you and some are definitely better than others and uh, it can be a valuable practice to say you know what no i'm not going to take that advice i'm not going to do that i'm happy with where i'm at i've signed it sometimes you have to be aware that yeah that is a good advice but my painting is finished it's over it's done and i will take that suggestion and perhaps put it into my next painting there is always another painting down the line. So you don't always have to do everything in every painting that you do. Hold it in your mind and keep it for future reference. Okay, I think that's all I really need to talk about. Criticism versus critique. Critique's very valuable. And I would like to thank you all for watching these videos. I've been getting such great feedback. And as always, these Facebook Live videos are aired every Monday at 1 p.m. in the Caprice Fine Artist community. And we now have 199 members. So thank you very much for becoming a part of my art community. I look forward to being in touch with all of you and I thank you for joining. Please do share the page, invite your other artist friends because I'm really excited that we have so many great artists involved. And some of you are not artists, some of you are just art appreciators and we need those as well. Enjoy the posts that, you know, on art that are shared regularly. If you are an artist, please post your work. We want to see what you have to offer the world. 
If you are watching this video on YouTube, please uh, subscribe because uh, you will then get automatic updates every time I post a new video. And I will also be sharing it in my Caprice Fine Art page. So uh, wherever you're watching this, please do subscribe to YouTube, join the, join the community. You do not have to be an artist to join the community. Um, everyone is welcome. Anyone that's interested in art is welcome. So please do join in so that you don't miss these on a regular basis. I will uh, see you again next Monday. And one more little tidbit of information is that my new website and blog where I will be talking about my mentors and doing some great blog posts. I hope you will enjoy so you can get to know me a little bit better. That will be launching on March the 5th. So keep that date in mind and I will remind you again next week, next Monday, I will see you back here. And thank you again uh, for tuning in. Send me any of your questions or things that you would like me to talk about in a future art tips. Let me know. Have a good week, everyone, and stay warm. Bye.